everybody, I'm Nathan and today in this PSLE 2015 paper 2 question series, I'll be going through question 6. So, in my channel, I aim to help you all master all those concepts out there and think beyond the boundaries for really, really tough questions. So, let's jump straight into question 6, okay? So, question 6. This question is testing us on the topic of angles. And this question has two methods to solve it. I'll be going through method 1 right now and I'll be going through method 2 later in this video. So, let's read the question first, okay? So, in the figure, CDEF is a parallelogram. EFC and BFE are straight lines and BA equals BC. Angle ABF equals 30 degrees and angle DEF equals to 54 degrees. So part A is asking us to find angle EFC and part B is asking us to find angle FBC and part A is awarding us one mark and part B is awarding us two marks. Okay, so let's solve for part A first. So, but before that, what have I told you? You do not jump straight into the question yet. We must underline or highlight the key information first. Okay, let's do that right now. So, angle. So, CDEF is a parallelogram. This is an important information which will help us solve the question. Angle AFC and BFE are straight lines okay this also will help us so in the question whatever they give you is always a very important information especially in angles questions you should always underline on highlight the key information if not it will be really hard to solve the question some people right when they see the question they do not read the question fully but when they are doing it they will struggle but when you read the question one more time, oh, so angle A, so lines AFC and BFE are straight. Oh, that means that I can find this answer. So they suddenly will click. So you must always read the question carefully for angles. And not only for angles, for all types of questions, okay? And next, BA equals BC. So... So when you are reading for angles question right, after you are done highlighting the key information, next is angle ABF equals 30 degrees and angle DEF equals 54 degrees. So after you are done with that, you can take a note, CDEF, where is CDEF? CDEF is here. So this is a parallelogram. So you can do that this is parallel lines right in a parallelogram there are parallel lines so fc is parallel to ed and ef is parallel to dc okay so these two lines are parallel and these two lines are parallel okay so that's the parallelogram next AFC and BFE are straight lines. So these two are straight lines. So where are they? So AFC Okay, check it out. AFC and BFE are straight lines. So these two lines are straight. So we know that now, next, what else have they given us? BA equals to BC. Okay, so basically, they have given us these two lines over here. So, we know that BA is equal to BC. Ah, now you can see it. This is an, what triangle? This is an isosceles triangle, right? This is an isosceles triangle because isosceles triangle have two two lines are the same and the base angles over here 
and the base angles are equal to each other. Okay, so we have analyzed the question and the image over here. Okay, so now we can go into solving part A. So for part A, we need to know this parallel we need to use this parallelogram so there's a very important property in this parallelogram for us to help solve angle efc this is called interior angles so that basically means that so between two par the parallel lines right see this angle over here efc and this angle over here fed is they add up to 180 degrees so so over here we know that this is 54 degrees and over here we do not know that's what we are finding for so we know that these two angles so if you know that these two angles add up to 180 degrees it means that we can find this angle over here because we know this angle over here which is 54 so it is really easy to find the answer. So it's basically 180 degrees minus 54 degrees will give us 126 degrees and that is angle EFC. Yay, we found the answer. So the answer is 126 degrees. So this is the answer. Okay, so now we have the chance to list down all the angles we know so far. So we know that opposite angles of a parallelogram are equal, so opposite. So over here, 54, opposite over here is also 54. And 126, opposite over here is also 126. Okay, next, we can move on to solving part B. We know that part A is very easy, so we can move on to solving part B. They have asked us to find angle FBC. Where is FBC? FBC. This is angle FBC. Okay, so part B is where the metal one comes in. So, so I'll show you something. It's a property of an angle. So I'll tell you that over here is 126 degrees. Do you know why? Okay, this is a property called vertically opposite angles. Okay. So vertically opposite angles basically mean when you have two straight lines. Okay. So one straight line over here and two straight lines. When they are going up about like a cross and they are straight lines. Okay, let me like label them like A, B, and C, and D. Okay, so these are the straight lines. Okay, so we can know that over here is equal to over here okay and over here is equal to over here so this is basically vertically opposite angles and i'll tell you why does that work so if you see there's a straight line over here these two angles add up to 180 degrees right and here is a straight line and these two angles also add up to 180 degrees right so basically all of them added up is 360 degrees so i could probably say angles at a point so angles at a point add up to 360 degrees okay angles at a point so this is why when we see them opposite angles are equal to each other in vertically opposite angles okay so i hope you understand the property of vertically opposite angles so it's the same case over here we have two lines
So we have two straight lines that we know, right? So AFC, AFC, and BF. E. So these are the two straight lines. That why that is why 126 opposite is 126 still. Okay. So I hope you understand that part of vertically opposite angles. So this is what I mean. Okay, next. If you see over here, the next step shows angle BAF equals to 180 degrees minus 26 minus 30 degrees. So do you understand why this step is showing as so? Okay, I'll explain to you now. So basically, can you see this triangle over here? Yes, this is a triangle, right? And you know that in a triangle, all the angles add up to 180 degrees. So all of the angles add up to 180 degrees. So basically, you know that there are two angles already. We have found the two angles. So we can easily find the first one. So in a triangle, when you have two angles, you can find the, the last angle. But when you have one angle only, you can only find the sum of two angles. Okay. So we have two angles over here. So we basically take 180 degrees minus 126 minus 30 degrees which will give us 24 degrees Ooh, now remember at the start of the question we have analyzed and told that these angles were equal to each other so we know that now because the base angle is 24 degrees so basically b c f is also 24 degrees and BAF is also 24 degrees. Okay? So next. This is the important step I've been talking about. See this? This step is the method 1. Okay. So you just need to spot this big isosceles triangle over here. We use the big isosceles triangle over here. Okay. This is the isosceles triangle, right? So... What if I told you, when we know two angles or more, we can find the last angle. So we have, over here, we have two angles, two angles, but we are not finding this big angle over here. We are only finding FBC, this smaller angle. So since we know that this angle is 30 degrees, we can basically take 180 degrees because all the angles of a triangle add up to 180 degrees minus 24 minus 24 and minus this 30 degrees so that it will give us angle FBC. So this is how we get the answer of 102 degrees. Okay. So FBC is equal to 102 degrees. So this is the answer for part B and part A the answer is 126. So this is method 1. So I hope you under understand my explanation for method 1. So method 2, there's not much of a difference, but there is a difference. But the first few steps are the same, okay? So it's the same thing, uh, same question. So we know how to solve part A, right? So let me just quickly go through again. So part A, we know 54 degrees, interior angles 180 degrees minus 54 degrees, is equal to 126 degrees, right? And so opposite angles 126 degrees, and opposite angles 54 degrees. And then uh, we know that this is a vertically opposite angle 126 degrees, right? For part B. So, um, yeah. Next. We can find this angle over here, 24 degrees, base angles, then over here is also 24 degrees, right? So now, what we do is different. Instead of using the whole isosceles triangle, we only use a certain part of it. We are only going to use this part. Can you see? So this is the only part we are going to use. Okay. So there are some properties that you can 
used to solve this question. First is the straight line over here. So I'll highlight it in green, okay? So look, this is the straight line over here, right? So you can basically have this 180 degrees minus 126 degrees, which will give you 54 degrees over here. Or you can use the property of exterior angles where you take the 54 degrees over here since they are parallel lines. You can just move this 54 degrees up over here and here is still 54 degrees. Okay, so this is what I meant. So this is, this is basically what you do. Or exterior angles okay so you can know that over here is basically 54 degrees so now it is really easy because you know the triangle that I showed you so what I told you is when in a triangle you, you have two angles you can easily find the, the last angle right so basically you take 180 degrees right 180 degrees minus 54 minus 24 degrees so you can get the answer for angle fbc which is still 102 degrees so let's check the answers are correct okay okay so i hope you understand my explanation for both of the questions and Thank you and bye-bye. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!